Do you need a cup of coffee or two to get going? Worried that you could be a Java junkie? Well, you may feel like you need a cup of coffee to make it through the day, and your body may not appreciate you failing to top up with caffeine. But this is not true addiction. Addiction is typically associated with your whole world coming unglued. Let's be honest. Have you ever heard of someone losing their house, their job, their spouse because of caffeine? I know clandestine meetings at the coffee house may be grounds for a divorce, but caffeine cannot bear the responsibility for human infidelity. Physiologically speaking, Real addictions involve disruptions to an area of your brain responsible for controlling your rewards, called the nuclear accumbens. Now, normal caffeine doses do buy tickets into the nuclear accumbens theme park, but <laughs> you don't get enough tickets to trigger dependence. That said, you will need to progressively increase your dose of caffeine because your body gets accustomed to the caffeine. So you need more caffeine to produce the same response. The problem is tolerance, not addiction. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we explore how to put the fun back into your caffeine habit, even if you're a bit of a Java junkie. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Think of your brain activity as a seesaw. When you're normal, then the stuff turning you on is balanced by the stuff turning you off. Until <laughs> you drink a cup of coffee. Now because caffeine is a stimulant, it turns you on increasing the excitatory pathways in your brain, and you are buzzing. Now, your body doesn't like to be out of balance, so it works hard to restore things back to normal by increasing the inhibitory signals. Hmm. So now, you can drink a cup of coffee and feel nothing. You are considered to be tolerant. Of course, there is little value in drinking your caffeine fix and getting nothing. So you adjust and increase the dose, either by adding a second spoon to the first cup of coffee or a second or third or fourth cup to the first. The seesaw swings down again thanks to the extra caffeine, and once more you are buzzed. Unfortunately, the compensatory mechanism pulls everything back to level, and the cycle continues. Until your annual vacation arrives, and you leave the cell phone, the laptop, and the coffee pot, and head to a quiet, tranquil beach to vegetate in the sun. Well, this is the plan. You develop the headache from hell and an unspeakable listlessness sometime on the first day of your vacation. It hangs around pretty much for the first few days of your holiday. In fact, it finally lifts on Friday as you're packing your bags to return home. You're facing the backlash. Caffeine withdrawal. The headache is due to blood vessels in your head dilating. If we go back to the seesaw, remember your body had learned to 
compensate for the extra excitation by increasing the inhibitory signals. Everything was balanced until you missed the cup of joe. The seesaw swung down with a thump. Too many inhibitory signals produces the extreme fatigue as well as the headache. But your super efficient body machine quickly begins to work at restoring the balance and by the end of your week's holiday you've got your groove back. You feel normal. So, a helpful tip when planning a few days off from your regular routine, one should begin tapering the daily dose of caffeine, since suddenly stopping is likely to precipitate problems. If the thought of facing the day without a little pharmacological stimulation is impossible to contemplate, then make sure you take a supply of coffee on your vacation. Be a card-carrying member. Join the Java Junkie Club. Stop stressing about being a caffeine addict and enjoy the numerous benefits of the little bean. The use of caffeine is self-regulating. When you start to swing from the ceiling, you've had one cup too many. So stop. That way, you can enjoy better productivity and better body chemistry. Need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is a Java junkie? Share this video with them so they know how to manage their caffeine habits. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.